pilot Bertrand Picard certainly has a lot to think about. In less than three weeks, he and his partner are hoping to take off on the first ever round-the-world flight powered only by the sun. And this room in Monaco will be the nerve centre of the whole operation. The mission control centre where a team of 20 experts monitor every aspect of the plane and its projected route. Really, during the flights, we are monitoring the flight, we will help the pilot, we will give him updates, how oh, here maybe the, the wind changed, so we suggest you go here, you go here. Of course, the pilot is finally the guy who decides, but it's, it's a big uh, teamwork. You know, in an in a airliner, you have always two pilots. You have one captain, and one senior first officer, but both are pilot. Here, in the plane, we have only one pilot, and the second pilot, or the first officer, or the co-pilot, is this area here. And there's a lot to calculate, not least the weather, which becomes of crucial importance when the sun is your only source of power. For the Solar Impulse pilots, this team of mathematicians, meteorologists and engineers is their eyes and ears when it comes to analysing the flight path and monitoring the technology that makes the flight possible. This uh, mission team decides when we take off, uh, decides about the flight path, the route, uh, decides where we uh, land. And for the flights which are going to last many days, many nights over the ocean, uh, it's a tremendous task. Because when you leave China, for example, you have the forecast five days in advance for the weather that you will encounter five days later in Hawaii. And we all know that weather forecasts of five, six days duration are very unreliable. So we will have many changes in the flight path, many new strategies, and this will be done here in this control center. Flying around the world without a drop of fuel requires a huge range of technical and engineering expertise, much of it provided by ABB. Here at Mission Control, it's their job to make sure that technology is used to maximum effect every step of the way around the globe.